The future of Alberta's oil sands industry is deep underground. Though open pit mines are the face of oil sands extraction today, only 20% of Alberta's 170 billion barrels of oil sands oil is accessible through mining. The remaining 80% are too deep to mine out. Going forward, pulling steamed bitumen from deep underground will be a bigger and bigger part of how Alberta extracts its oil sands wealth. One of these processes is called Steam Assisted Gravity Drainage, or SAG-D. It involves injecting steam through a horizontal well and then pumping oil back up through a second well. No giant mines, no giant tailings ponds. One concern though is that SAG-D will require far more energy from natural gas to create a barrel of oil than the already greenhouse gas intensive open pit mining. This is called the steam to oil ratio which determines how much natural gas is burned to create a barrel of oil. Sonova says it has the lowest steam to oil ratio in the industry. One technology to further improve efficiency involves pumping a solvent like butane in with the steam. Uh, my name is James Shaw. I'm a third class power engineer and I'm an operator at Sonova's Christina Lake facility. We call it SAP. Uh, we're injecting solvent into the ground, butane, and uh, the idea there is to uh, increase the viscosity of the oil without using steam. Uh, by adding a solvent to the oil, it should uh, do that naturally. And uh, uh, that way we should be able to decrease the amount of steam we use to recover the same amount of oil. And we're just, we recover the, the solvent, the butane, in the plant and uh, re-inject it back into the ground. So the solvent is just getting recycled and circulated in the, in the formation and uh, we've, we've managed to decrease the amount of steam we need to, uh, to produce the same amount of oil. But extracting the oil sands underground can create problems underground too. In summer 2013, CNRL's Primrose Lake lease near Cold Lake, which uses a higher pressure method called cyclic steam stimulation, started leaking bitumen through fissures in four places. In October, Alberta Environment ordered the company to drain a small lake and try to plug the fissures. Alberta Environment also announced that the oil was leaking into an underground aquifer. Meanwhile, the number of underground steam recovery projects in the oil sands continues to grow.